Holy shit, my son! <laughs> I gazed around in a panic. There was a lonely man walking past our block. My heart skipped a beat. What if he notices that she has alcohol? What if you already noticed? If anyone gets a wind of this, I'll be a criminal. <laughs> what? You weren't one? Eh? <laughs> I think at this point she knows me a little too well. Relax, I'm joking. Damn. This is not funny, Maya-san. Put it away already. Just get that contraption of alcohol out of here. Don't be such a wuss. Maya-san turned in the direction the man was coming from and waved. I turned around and saw him walking our way. What? What are you doing? Stay still, kid. She said that in such a strict manner that I got baffled. What in the world was that supposed to mean? In the meantime, the man approached us. His appearance was quite unpleasant. He had a strong facial feature and he didn't look Asian. Wait, what? He had strong facial features and didn't look Asian? Okay. Perhaps he's one of the residents? Maya-san told me that she had assigned a whole floor to a group of foreigners. The man didn't show any interest in me. Instead, he gave Maya-san a meaningful look. Without a word, Maya-san took his hand and led him away from me. Apparently, they knew each other. Ooh, okay. Well, whatever. It's not my business. Okay, alrighty, Kuro. <laughs> what really matters is that I've managed to avoid trouble. But Maya-san sure is reckless. She didn't even hesitate to shout at the top of her lungs while holding a uh, bottle of prohibited alcohol. Oh, so alcohol is prohibited. Oh, we're like in prohibition time, but like cyberpunk. Meanwhile, they were already engaged in a lively conversation. I didn't want to be a third wheel, so I stopped outside to have a smoke. No, oh, Kuro. Ooh, look at this. It's pretty. This small area in front of the entrance was the perfect place to stand and dwell on something. I wonder why. Here we go again. I used to look for any excuse to stay here even a longer, uh, even a little longer instead of going back to my lonely apartment. But now, now I had something waiting for me at home, and I'm not talking about Maya's son. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this gonna be like a, is this gonna be like Sayana Uta, where it's like, oh, I'm living like a work life, but like at home I have like a super hot girlfriend who's like sort of mysterious. I exhaled a cloud of smoke and raised my eyes to the sky. The watch showed 9:53 p.m. The sky was covered with a pale haze so thick it was hard for even moonlight to break through it, not to mention the stars that were only visible outside the city in the first place. Everything was a gray and dull down- Everything was as gray and dull down here. Okay. I mean, I don't know, Ikuro. It looks pretty neat to me. There's blue there, yellow there. Like, <laughs> we're chillin'. If you took a closer look, you would notice the whole city was wrapped up in wires and railways, which allowed monorails to occasionally run past me with their noisy screeching. The mon monotonous rumble that haunts you wherever you go. Huh, okay. I sighed and looked down. I took the last drag and not even bothered to aim, tossed the cigarette butt towards the trash can. <gasps> and I accidentally hit someone. Nope, I hope I didn't miss. Did you? Okay, I guess we don't- I will never know! Um, okay, say. I'm gonna assume this is a lady, so let me just bump bump bump, get my lady voice on. Hey, don't pretend like you're done! Damn, leave me alone. Exhausted, I collapsed on the sofa. I looked around and noted the other chaos and the room had been and was- Oh. Wow, I'm sorry, I just read the whole thing wrong. I looked around and noted th that the other chaos of the room had been and was now just a little mess. Not bad if I would say so myself. After what happened today, I needed to let off steam more than ever. Cleaning was a perfect way to do it. Uh... Who said you can slug off? It's all dusty, you know? Oh, it's the computer? Oh my god, it's like her! Like the movie Her! Okay, let me catch my breath, okay? Why don't you get off my bag? Say snorted. Ah, are we dating a computer? Ooh, I love that. I guess you need an explanation. Say is not just a screen computer that modern school kids brag about so much. She's a fully fledged house user maintenance interface, Humi, in short. It's a primitive device with an intellect of a pet or a bit higher. Still, it's free of charge and comes with a lifetime warranty. Ooh, wait, so it's literally- Oh my god, we're literally in Blade Runner 2049 now. It's like, oh, it's like, we're Ryan Gosling, and then like, she's like that really pretty lady, which I don't remember her name. Still, it's free of charge and comes with a lifetime warranty. Wonderful, isn't it? As soon as humies become mass-produced, residential areas were the first place they were installed in. The installation was mandatory. Well, I guess like the human companion thing is technically also another trouble, just cyberpunk theme-ish. Because another idea that I thought of was that, uh, this reminds me of sort of like Detroit Become Human, but like obviously did Detroit Become Human, they're like androids living and not like on the computer. But I would assume in that universe they also have computer things like this. You had to be a complete fool to not realize what was going on. Well, I was one. 
It's almost been a year. Say was an obedient doll back then, only capable of switching lights or a kettle on. She only did what she was told to, and her only name was a row of numbers in her casing. I was perfectly content with her basic set of options and voice commands, but after a while I began speaking with her. Oh, what have you talked about? It was scary and awkward, but I told her everything I couldn't share with anyone else. I spoke about my childhood, my family, my favorite books, how and where I want to die, about everything I've been holding inside for all these years. I didn't have anyone in my life. Oh, she was all I had. Of course, I knew that all humans were tapped, but I couldn't stop. And of course, she never answered. That's what drove me crazy the most. Uh, one day, I cried right in front of her. You could say I was reborn that day. I realized that I was what I really desired. I wanted a goal so ambitious and so unattainable that I could dive into it headfirst. I finally obtained it, which is the feeling I had totally forgotten. Love? Self-confidence? I decided to make Say alive. Oh, okay. I immediately started moving toward that goal. How'd you do it, my dude? And after like a few short months of research, I met an anonymous like-minded individual on one of the darkest forms. Or no, one of the darknet forms. Ooh, bro, the brother went on the darknet? Okay. In order to win his trust, I had to embellish my story a little bit. Or rather, I totally pulled the wool over his eyes. What does that mean? Okay. I just made up random shit about taking control over city systems, public broadcasting of political slogans, rewriting surveillance drones, fire firmware. In short, all the stuff people like forms love, all the stuff people from forms like that to dream about but would never actually try. Okay. And he totally bought into that. Oh, we're lying on the internet? That's spooky. Or that's sketch. After a period of lively chatter, or lively chatting, we arranged a meeting in Backstreet Library in the 20, 22nd residential. Imagine my surprise when my anonymous friend turned out to be Hang, my fellow student from the university. Although, while I rounded off all seven years, he dropped out during the second. By doing that, he practically gave up on his future as a resp responsible member of society, okay? No wonder fate brought him back to the black market where he could make use of his skills to the fullest. We spent a few hours talking, and after that we shook hands and agreed to never meet in person again. <laughs> That's funny. I also love how the music is like, ooh yeah, we're bopping, talking about the darkness, talking about our girlfriend but not, our computer girlfriend. Our arrangement was simple, I brought money and Hang brought whatever I needed, no meetings, all the money and goods were exchanged were done through caches. A reliable, time-tested way. First of all, I removed all the tapping device that I was attached to say. Obviously you can't remove it outright, otherwise you'd get a visit from every- from a very nice man dressed in white asking you why you did that. To remove the tapping device, you had to put a faint speaker directly on it. The speaker would repeat the typical mundane task every now and then, like say, turn on the ke kettle, or say, turn off the lights. This made it so that your actual words could be spoken without the fear of being recorded. It was a pretty smart idea, I just- I wish I just came up with it first. After the tapping device was taken care of, obtaining a voice model came next, okay. Of course, I didn't mean to use something- Oh, uh, okay, wait, oh, of course, oh, oh my god, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 oh my god! <laughs> okay, let me, let me see if I can read this and I'll go. Or, of course, I didn't mean to use something as ancient as Evelyn 2, which is the weird sounding one used in monorails in public spaces. What I strived for was Sienna, which sounded almost identical to a real human's voice, but still had the faint touch of AI to it, which made it even more pleasant to listen to. Okay, cool, Sienna voice, awesome. Its usual price on the black market started from 70 grand, but Hang managed to bring it down to 40. Jesus, why does living in the cyberpunk land cost so much? Despite getting such a great discount, I had to spend all of my savings for the last few years on it, and I still needed so many things. I didn't want to wait. I faced the dilemma, obtaining money either through stealing or gambling. <gasps> That's why this man gambles for his girlfriend. Ooh. I had already tried enough schemes to be sent to jail, so I decided to push it to the limit. That's when luck really smiled upon me. I chose the second option, by the way. But you have an addiction, don't you, my dude? The next person purchase cost me 130 grand, which I had no problem paying thanks to my immense luck at the blackjack table. I thought I might have been the uh, been psychic that day. Anyways, what I purchased was algorithmic self-teaching module. The device is not available to the public, and only the only way to get to it is either work for the government or obtain it through the black market. Man, how does your friend get all of this like so quickly, though? In short, the device allows even more simple AI like Say to perceive her surrounding environment and shape her own sense of self. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand, like, in the, I guess, like, in this society, you don't have that kind of thing. But I feel like if you were gonna live in cyberpunk or future land, you'd, like, robot girlfriends or boyfriends or significant others would be, like, the number one thing you'd keep think of. Of course, it's a time-consuming process. It took her no less than two months to start speaking in a more or less sensible manner. Life has been a breath of fresh air since then. All requests say used to carry out without question had to be ple uh, pleaded for now. I even had to search weather forecasts in the news by myself. It can- uh, it come? 
It come with a caveat though. Perceiving that much information every second fills up her memory module so fast she needs a new one every month. Wow, okay. She sometimes works around this though, either through swapping information for more relevant ones or deleting all information outright. For example, one day she couldn't tell how many continents were on the planet on one day, but, uh, but, bust? But instead, tell you all about the lineage of a Harry the Fourth off the top of her head on another. Okay, so she's so say still like in the work. She's still in development. Well, she began discarding information like that soon enough. See, my question is like, how much information you need? I feel like you need to give say like all the information that you have. Like, I think if she knows all about you, that would make it better. <laughs> if you calculate the total cost of all that equipment, today's loss would be the barely amount of the ten percent of the sum. I, mean, I lost lots today. It doesn't matter though. I can't say I have anyone apart from say to spend money on. I have no girlfriend. I don't even own an aquarium fish and it doesn't look like I will anytime soon. I remember the day she came up with her own name like it was yesterday. She even went as far to explain her choice and why she liked it. Which is... I was brimming with joy all day. I wouldn't be surprised if someone told me I was even smiling in my sleep. Alright, say. Ikuro, is everything alright? Yeah. Are you sure? I am. Oh no, I am. Are you sure? You're sure? <laughs> yeah. She almost started to stop. Aw, say. Ikuro. Fine, fine. I got up from the sofa. Say went silent right away, letting me wipe the screen, wipe the screen in peace. But when the cloth rubbed the lower part of her plastic exterior, where the main sensors were installed. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> we're already getting to like sexual nonsense. Yeah! A moan you could hear in erotic movies. Ah! <laughs> so embarrassing! God! It might have sounded hot if it wasn't so damn funny. I don't know, man. That's kind of embarrassing, but it's okay. It's okay. It's cute. It's cute. It's fine. I watched her, barely able to keep myself from laughing. That's funny. Okay, I know it says Ikuro, but I'm gonna guess Sei said that. Uh, or no. I guess I'll go with Ikuro voice. Are you making fun of me? She bit her- No, it was say. Fuck. Okay. She bit her lip and tried to escape my gaze by repeatedly disappearing and appearing in different parts of the screen. I assessed the situation once more and burst out laughing, unable to hold it anymore. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. You. Ah. 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 Okay, say cursed at me in a ma uh, say cursed at me in every way imaginable while I was shamelessly laughing my ass off. Looks like she's been studying erotic material all by herself, knowing full well I didn't check her logs. Of course, I told her that she got even more enraged. Still, she couldn't deny it. Man, I <laughs> dude, just imagine like your computer making a moaning noise. That's I don't know if I think that's funny. Like it's like it's definitely a a, a comedic situation, but I can also see that lead to other situations. Uh, phew, it's not- it's hard not to go crazy with her around. Whatever. I'll- I guess I'll go get some sleep. S stop right there! I haven't finished yet! Night, say. 